for for forward tonight, I like Chris Milton actually. I feel like I don't. I, I'm not usually going with him a lot this season. Um, obviously, he's been pretty consistent. Um, but for his price range, you know, you, maybe you want a little bit more of a uh, of a ceiling. But he's pretty much been playing. His ceiling has been his floor. It seems like he's averaging 33.4 DK fantasy points a game. You look at his last 10 games. I think it was actually 10 games or nine games ago that he went off over 40. Uh, but when you look at what he's got tonight, we're we're dealing with a game that has one of t- uh, is one of two games that has two teams that are top 10 in pace. Um, the Hornets are second. The Bucks are tied for fourth. And this is the highest total on DraftKings Sportsbook tonight. Um, and then the Hornets are one of the least efficient, least efficient teams on the defensive end as well. So it obviously makes it uh, more beneficial for the Bucks. And the Hornets have not been great against small forwards this season. Either they have a lot of the third most DK fantasy points against small forwards this season. So I'm going to go with Middleton tonight. Garen, who do you like it forward for building block? Or feel free to do center again. Doesn't bother <laughs> me. I might. Let's just let's just freewheel here. Um, I'm going to stick with that same game. I think, you know, Nick brought it up. You have to attack this game in some capacity tonight. Not only is it the only game with a total above 230 points on this slate, it's the only game with a total above 220 points. That's how high the projected game total of this contest is. Because as Nick mentioned, you've got two teams sitting inside the top 10 in pace and the top 10 in offensive efficiency. So points are going to be scored in this game. And I think there's a nice sort of tier for the Hornets at forward, you've got two options, essentially. You can go with Miles Bridges, who hasn't been quite as good lately as he had been in October. Uh, The shooting numbers, the efficiency numbers were down in November. Uh, He's 7,800. Or I would maybe prefer to go with someone like Gordon Hayward, who is $6,300. Sort of fits that Middleton tier that Nick was talking about. He's not a guy with a massive ceiling. He's more about his floor. But that floor has really been coming into play as of late because he's scored at least 30 DraftKings points in six of his last seven games. So I think someone who has the safety of Hayward, who's put into an environment that could draw that ceiling out of him, is a really nice spot and a really nice place to go at just over 6K tonight. 